Right. Hello. This is very Swedish, isn't it? A smorgasbord of women. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking perfect height as well. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, you do have good-looking women here. I grew up in the uh, Australian underground death metal scene. I was the hottest-looking woman in it. So it was... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, with the shortest beard. So. <laughs> it's good, Sweden. I've been here before. I have many Swedish friends. They're all yes, yeah, Steve. We're having a great time. <laughs> we are going crazy here. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> See, Irish people are very open. Like if you went backpacking or something in Ireland... You get drunk with a bunch of men you've never even met before. By the end of the night, they'd be going, so where are you fucking staying? <laughs> well, I've got nowhere to stay. Well, you'll be fucking staying with us. <laughs> mm, try that in Sweden, see how far you get. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you staying? I've got nowhere to stay. Oh. <laughs> well, uh... Good luck in finding somewhere to stay. <laughs> if you are still here in a year, perhaps I would tell you my name. <laughs> I'm very grateful, because your English is superb. It's brilliant, and uh, you have a good sense of humour. I did the Dutch first when I did European gigs, and that's still the fucking hardest. You can make them laugh. I've done it. You know, you make the Dutch laugh, they laugh. It's just if you don't make them laugh, they will stare at you till you fucking cry. <laughs> no heckling, there's no get off your shit, there's just... <laughs> it's, it's a profound silence. I, I stood in front of 300 Dutch people one night, it was so quiet, I'm just standing there thinking to myself, you know, no wonder those Nazis couldn't find that Anne Frank bitch. You know? <laughs> The Germans are here, be quiet, no problem. <laughs> Relax, it's a joke. <laughs> they found her. And they used to still, you used to be able to smoke there, which of course no one's allowed to do anymore. Anywhere, although the Dutch can still smoke pot without tobacco in the shop, but we can't smoke tobacco, because we're not... In Scandinavia, no hotel in fucking Sweden I've been to in the last year, it's no, it's all non-smoking, no, 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 because it's a secondary smoke, isn't it? It's a secondary smoke, yeah, it's, it's what we should be worried about, it's very... But, you know, because, you know, scientists, experts and researchers have done, you know, research and discovered that secondary smoke is a very big issue for me, I think, about the, the future of the human race and what's happening in the world today, secondary smoke's a real issue for me. Secondary smoke. I'm not, I'm not particularly worried about the fact that recently the two most powerful nations illegally invaded a Middle East country under false pretenses so that it could steal their natural resources and implement permanent military bases to start more theatres of conflict so that it could implement a third world war to create a planetary fascist police state. It's secondary smoke that is it's a real problem for me. You know. Because but you know, sometimes when you go out, your clothes get smelly, don't they? And then you, have, then you have to wash them when you get back. I mean, that's a real chore for my existence, you know. I'm worried about I'm not worried about the fact that the World Bank or the IMF go into third world countries, put them into unfathomable debt so it can steal their natural resources, destroy the culture and implement them into the global banking system. It's secondary smoke. That's... Because it's everywhere. And, you know, I didn't choose to smoke and I could be affected. Really? People from Chernobyl still alive, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they look weird, but they're still here. And now we make them smoke outside. <laughs> Fucking hell. Freaky. And I must admit, it's a joy to come to any country when you live in England. I appreciate English people for many of the creative things they've given us, the fucking comedy, the geniuses, that music. And, but it's good to get out of there once in a while to, to eat. <laughs> uh, it's very difficult to eat. For some reason, they haven't managed to cotton on to 
food. It's, I, don't know, I don't know what they're up to, but it's fucking, you know. We like to have a baked potato with baked beans on it. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> it's fucking disgusting, as a matter of fact. It's, uh, England's the only country in the world we can buy a hot Coke and a cold sausage roll from the same shop. Okay. <laughs> and none of them even notice or care. Thanks, that'll be lovely. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Every day in England, there's thousands of tourists standing around going, have you ever had a Coke this hot? I've never had a Coke this hot. How do they get it this fucking hot? It's some kind of Eastern Bloc communist recipe, I think. I don't know. I am from Nigeria. I have never had a Coke this hot. It is. I think they should keep the sausage rolls next to the Coke. Yeah, their cuisine is... Ch- then you go, do you have any sauce with the sausage roll? Yeah, red or brown? Mmm. <laughs> and what flavour are they? Red flavour. <laughs> and brown flavour. You're a smart-ass Australian prick. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a strange bunch. I live in Manchester, northern England, which is tough. It's a... I got robbed in my house <laughs> while I was there <laughs> by guys with machetes. <laughs> I'm sitting there three o'clock in the morning with me flat mate watching this DVD. Next minute there's two lads in the lounge got machetes at our throats. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, who's this cunt? <laughs> You've come for all our stuff. <laughs> 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 Come to the wrong house. <laughs> you want a sandwich? <laughs> Anything of value I've got here, mate, it's about 300 heavy metal CDs. And I don't want to stereotype anyone, but I've got a pretty good feeling you're into hip-hop. So... <laughs> this is, this is weird. Fucking <laughs> weird. I live in Manchester. Told me now, I don't, want, I don't know what happens in Sweden, but he said in England. You wear an earring in your right ear, which I do. He said, in England, that means you're gay. I know, it's weird, isn't it? It's in Australia, it's when you get your cock in another man's ass. (laughs) They got a lot of catching up to do. And I still, I still have homophobic friends, which I find very strange. A lot of my friends playing heavy metal bands are involved in heavy metal, the most male-dominated form of music in the world, but it's a very homophobic scene still. And my friends are grown men. They're still upset, freaking out. We don't like them, mate. We don't like them. Who? The gays, mate. We don't fucking like them. Well, why not? Because they're not real men, mate. They're not tough. I don't know. They're not tough. They fuck men. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's, that's hardly gay. What do straight men want? Ooh, I want a woman. Soft. Feminine. What do you want, Dave? I want to fuck a bloke. I want a big, strong bloke to fuck me in the ass. Or is that a bit tough for you and your pussy-loving mates? Is it? Well, fuck you, because we want cock, son. Cock. You can't play with your girly tits, you fucking fag. Come on. Straight. Straight, the new gay. So, I have to leave. And you've been utterly brilliant for coming out this evening and not staying in and watching a reality TV show, which is the best George Orwell double think name of something I've ever fucking thought of in my life. What are you doing? Watching reality. Excellent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can look out the window. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for coming out to the <laughs>